G'day guys, how are you? Thanks for dropping by once more. Good to see ya. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me show you something. Check this out. So, this is my creative world. I don't often... I don't ever show it off, really, because oh, I always hit that switch. This is the door lock, if you're wondering what I was doing there. But... <laughs> don't often show this place. This is my creative world. Um... It's one that I don't have host privileges in or anything like that. So I actually started a new testing world to do all my testing on. But before that, this was my little creative world. I've got my house here. I've got my nether portal there. And I've got a whole bunch of shit right in the, uh, in the garden there that I use to test things. So what I'm going to show you is this thing right here, this massive monstrosity. It looks pretty big, but it's actually quite compact in its design considering what it does. What does it do, you ask? Well, first let me show you and then we'll go from there. So this is my arcade basketball game. It's a little neat little room here where behind the scenes everything happens. You'll notice I've got some flashing lights just for aesthetic purposes. Now, this I designed after I saw uh, an arcade basketball machine done by another YouTuber in Minecraft and I thought, I know I could do this a little bit better. So the way that mine works is rather than just jumping and shooting, you actually have a hoop that moves from left to right. Um, and that is where the skill comes from because no two shots are ever going to be the same when you do it like that. Uh, let's... Let's try this again. So here's your basketballs, pumpkins, of course, making the best basketballs. And the way that you, this operates is you hit the button to start the game, and then here is where you find out your score at the end of the game. So, without any further ado, let's start the game. Alright, so here you got some countdown tunes. You can go right up against the fence here is probably the best way to do it. Um, it's kind of why I put the fence there. And basically, you got to try and make jump shots. Now, with this... Every shot that you get in, you'll notice the lights light up and I actually get a sound indicating that I've scored a point. Oh. Now this is so done as well, you can't just stand in the one spot and then spam it and think it's all going to work. There's all the pumpkins that didn't make it, ejected there, and that means my score is 4 out of 64 there, as you can see. So, it's a little bit of a smart setup, but it's actually really easy. If you're well versed in Redstone, you'll already have a pretty good understanding of what's going on there and how to do it. Um, it's cheap as well, there's no observers used, um, but those beacons that are at the back there, um, they are basically just aesthetic as well. Um, they're just to make it look good inside, you could use anything. Um, I think sea lanterns do a pretty good job. Um, so, I'll just explain a little bit about how this works. Um, hopefully without trashing too much of this map, but it's all right. I kind of understand how everything goes anyway. Up here is the, uh, the beat, um, that was playing. Um, and I'll show you how the whole thing operates. We'll follow the signal around from the back here. So this block here is where the, the uh, button is that starts the whole contraption. Um, and here is uh, a little button I set up to show you what actually happens as well. So basically that button operates this here, which then sends a signal this way, which is going to start us an etho hopper clock. So if I hit this, bing, all right, and away we go. The sounds are all there to let you know when the game starts, um, the game is running, and also this one to let you know oh, when the game ends and when the game is reset. So there's a whole bunch of different things going on here. You can see here, this is the main clock. So basically the 64 items in here, they're going from one hopper to another. So that 64 is the length of the game. Didn't make it too long. It doesn't need to be too long. It's just a little simple arcade game. And you can see there, once the clock's done, um, the comparator makes sure that it pushes a uh, signal to this block here, pushes the redstone block over here, which then locks the other hopper, feeding all the items into it. So there's nothing gonna come out of this hopper. What's that doing? This comparator signal here is basically going to tell... Oh, sorry, this is a different comparator signal. Uh, yeah, yeah. That tells when you're ready to restart everything. It means that all the items are across. It's got a little bit... It's got like one or two items um, difference in it, but it doesn't really matter. You know that it's ready to go. Um, that clock then also operates a couple of different things. You've got um, the beat, so this signal up here is where that's traveled from. 
you can see this little torch tower. Um, that basically tells you that it's the beat's ready to play, and that's why. So the signal's on right now against these two blocks, which are the the, the kick drum and the snare. Um, once that signal is turned off, which is when all this happens, because the torch tower. That's when the beat starts playing. It tells you that the game is ready to go. There's a, there's a lot to this, but it's you know, so I try and keep it as compact as I possibly can. Um, it also activates, see this clock here? So this is a little 10 item clock, and that basically is telling when the pistons move left or right. And it's just a setup of pistons all on the side, up on the top here. On the top, it basically goes one by one, and that's to, oh, let's not have a, a repeater tick. It goes one by one, and that's basically to tell you that the uh, the hoops move from one side to the other because if they were both visible, it would kind of just ruin the game a little, it'd ruin the illusion. So that 10 second timer just goes from one one set of pistons to the other, so it moves the uh, hoop from left to right, which I think works really well. Um, in order to keep score, that is uh, done with these hoppers here. So. The hoppers are, are the hoops basically, and you get the item in, and then it feeds it down through a little hopper chain um, down into here. You'll notice I've got a comparator coming out of that bottom hopper there, and there's also, I believe, a comparator coming out of some other hopper as well along the chain. But that basically tells the uh, system to make the little ding sound, that's this block here, and then to also light up these lights um indicating that you got one in so there's one on each side so it's pretty simple stuff it's just like if there's an item in the hopper the comparator sends a signal and that just makes i just set, take that signal and then make it go ding and light up the lights it's really simple stuff um and then on uh i also like considered putting a sign in there to so you could like keep a written high score and stuff but that's like basically it um once those pumpkins go through this hopper chain, they go all the way to, you can see they keep traveling along and they hit that chest at the end and that's it. So that's how you get your score is all those pumpkins that come back. Very rarely will a pumpkin kind of be lost here. I've seen them kind of eject out this side, but that's really rare for it to happen. Otherwise, it's a pretty decent system as far as um, what you missed and what you got. But even so, you just fill a chest full of pumpkins, you'll be all right have a pumpkin farm feeding into it even better so yeah it's really simple redstone there's no observers or anything like that um it's just some some clocks basically that run the whole system but uh it actually came together really well and it's actually a really fun little thing you get you, your friends to come on in grab some uh some baskets and then set a high score i'd, I'd recommend as well you can just bop bop you could probably uh, put a sign as well, and uh, so you guys can keep high score. I don't know. I think Tom's got the high score on air on airs or something like yeah. I think Tom's got the high score there. It was like 16 or something. He was doing pretty well though. He just got to time it. There you go. I also made it so that everything would. Everything would be powered, all the pistons would be powered, so it would close up the game. So you can't line up your shot, basically, before it happens. That's all I want. really wanted out of that. There you go, I got 13. That makes total 64, so my high score is 13. Could pop that on there. But uh, that's how this operates. So any questions you have or anything like that, let me know. I'll be uh, more than happy to answer it. Um, but that's basically how it works. Um... There's not too much to it. And I think like a little bit of like redstone know-how. I, I made this fairly on, early on, learning redstone. So a little bit of know-how with these little hopper clocks and what pistons to use there. And you'll be smashing this kind of stuff out in no time. So that's my version of arcade basketball in Minecraft. I hope you uh, enjoyed it or even got something out of it. If you got any uh, cool creations, any arcade games that uh, you want to show me, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, until next time, hey, happy mining, happy crafting, and happy playing some basketball.